I'm Caroline Lim. I use she, her, hers pronouns. I am a junior at Hillsdale High School. Hello, my name is Emily Duncan. I also use she, her pronouns, and I'm also a junior at Hillsdale High School. My name is Olivia Murray. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a sophomore at Hillsdale High School. I'm Roisin. I go by she, her pronouns, and I'm also a junior at Hillsdale. We've kind of spent our entire lives growing up learning about climate change. We've kind of heard about it distantly, and we learned about it in middle school. Um, but after learning about it, I started to feel some kind of anxiety or just kind of pressure that I knew all of this was happening, but I wasn't doing much about it. And they kept saying, you know, um, we can take action, we can mitigate climate change and things like that, but I didn't know how to do that personally. So I was um, just doing some research and I heard through a friend who had just completed the first YCA program, heard about the Youth Climate Ambassador Program, um, and then I heard about some other friends that were going to try it out. So I decided it would be a good place to start. I remember learning about climate change in middle school, I think sixth grade specifically, when we had that unit. And I got really angry about it um, and angry when I would hear about adults that weren't doing anything or that were in denial. Because if middle schoolers can learn about it and understand that it's real, why can't these adults also do that? Um, so basically what we did was we restored a community garden at a local elementary school. So at Meadow Heights Elementary School, which is really just down the street from our high school, um, we helped restore the really overgrown planter beds there and we turned it into a functioning vegetable garden. We've also been leading some educational workshops. So we talk about um, all kinds of things. Um, I mean, gardening, but also we talk about climate change and sustainability and uh, waste management, recycling, compost. Um, so we plan a couple lessons each week um, and we've gotten to work really well with a certain group of kids that go to the annex. Uh, so we've gotten to know them really well. Last um, season after we planted and harvested our vegetables, we donated them to um, the Samaritan house. Um, being able to participate in the Fridays for Future strike, um, we were able to, I guess, uh, um, join our voices with like a bunch of other people. Like there were a couple hundred people there. Um, and then there were also similar marches all over the world. I knew that a lot of people were um, really passionate about climate change activism and um, wanted to do something about it, but it was really inspiring to see so many people, especially so many young people, um, go out to strike. And um, even beyond that, like I learned so much about how it's connected to other problems like racial injustice and, and what companies exactly are like supporting um, and not doing anything to, to mitigate climate change and are just making the problem worse. So it was really, really cool to be a part of that. You don't have to start by making your own change like on your own and yeah doing do making a project on your own or anything like that you can start by finding community whether that's online or in person you know joining your school's environmental club um finding friends and people to talk to about climate change and about these issues and you can also start following like local organizations and seeing what initiatives they're doing and that's how you can find out about maybe a strike that someone's organizing that you can go and participate in or like different um like an earth day event you can go participate in a trash cleanup so you can start by like participating in things that others have organized and that will kind of give you inspiration and let you meet people who you can do your own organizing with um, instead of just trying to do it all by yourself